Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. I'm here with the Droid 2. And since this is Verizon Wireless, it has an exclusive application that you're not going to find on any of the other carriers, NFL Mobile. Now, this app is really useful because if you're a big sports fan like I am, you want to be able to get all your news and everything of that nature. So when you first open it up, you get an interface here uh, with live video. Now you get Sunday night and Thursday night football broadcast, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and jump into that and check out the quality. It'll load. That's the actual size, and then it's scaled to that to fit the screen. Going deep. And complete to Roy Williams. So we'll go ahead and go back. Quality isn't very bad when we're on Wi-Fi. That's what we just demoed this on. However, the audio fidelity is not the best. I was kind of disappointed with what it sounded like. I know what Chris Collinsworth and Al Michaels sound like. And it sounds really tinny and really not rich at all when, uh, you know, listening to it. But again, it's not bad because, hey, you can watch football wherever you are. That's always a great thing. I'm just nitpicking with that. Then you can go in and look at all the games. This is just a recap because this is Sunday night and we've these games have already happened. So you can click on that and you can get a recap of it. So in text you can see that or you can just look at score summary. And if you want to view the entire, you can go and search by quarter. Then you can just get a little comparison here. Jimmy Clausen, 0 for 2. Matt Moore, 14 for 33. And then the Giants are on the bottom. Eli Manning, 3 touchdowns and 3... Well, it says interceptions. Technically, they're interceptions. But if you watch the game like I did, you know it was poor receivers. Um, then you can see Hakeem Nicks had a great day. Four catches, three were touchdowns, and 75 yards. Um, and you can do that for all of that. And then when you click the little menu button down here, you have Home, which is where we are, Live, Fantasy Tracker, My Team. So I'll show you my team. Again, the Giants. I'm a fan of those guys. And you can see their injury report at the bottom. Michael Johnson, not injury related, but out. Corey Webster, probable. We know Aaron Ross did not end up playing. We can look at their schedule. So we can see that, you know, next week it'll be a Manning Bowl, Giants and Colts, and we'll be able to watch that right here because it has a little TV. Uh, and it'll be on NBC, and then it shows that CBS, the other games, and can give us, uh, you know, a little forecast of that. We can look at statistics. Uh, for total offense, fourth or sixth, excuse me, passing seventh, rushing eleventh. We can look at the roster, and we can go ahead and do all that. And then we can go back. So fantasy tracker, you can add fantasy players, uh, up to nine players to receive real-time scoring updates, injury reports, breaking news. A lot of people are fantasy players. I play fantasy as well. News and videos. This is a uh, where you can see some news here. Obviously, so let's say you were, ugh, let's say an Eagles fan, you can click on this and you'll get a little video report of the injury. And an error. That happens sometimes. It's really, I haven't really noticed that as a lot, but it does happen, so that's just something to keep in mind. So we can look uh, at another video to see if that errors out as well. This is a 40 second clip. Terrible pass. One thing that's kind of disappointing me is the resolution. As you can see, that's the actual size, and it's quite small. I mean, you zoom in, but still not very good at all. So we can go back. Uh, scores. So we can go ahead and go back to that screen. Teams. So you can sort by team. You can look at the divisional records for the AFC and NFC, as well as info. So you can favorite your team, set the alerts if you want them, text alerts, whatever. So, let's just finish this out by going to the live video feed. Uh, what's cool about this is you can see NFL Game Day highlights, that live feed, or NFL Red Zone Sunday afternoon. I did a video about that a long time ago on the channel if you want to check that out. But let's just check out the Game Day highlights. 
the same as you'd see on NFL Network, but again, this is mobile. And we get the lovely commercial, so I'm not going to bore you with, with a commercial here. So I guess we'll just finish it out on the live feed. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. Overall, this is an excellent feature to have if you're on Verizon Wireless and you're a football fan. This is an excellent app to have on your phone. You can find more information just by talking to your carrier going to VerizonWireless.com. Or I believe the NFL website will have info about this as well. Again, it's a little disappointing that that's the actual resolution. But you know what? I've seen much worse for mobile video, and it doesn't look that bad, and you can still enjoy the experience. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Do you think this app is useful? Do you think it's, you know, a, a deal breaker that it's not no longer on Sprint or it's not on AT&T and T-Mobile? I don't know. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. I really love this app and think it's a, an excellent pickup for Verizon Wireless because I believe this used to be on Sprint. Uh, so I'm probably going to, after I'm done with this video, finish up the Dallas-Washington game on the big screen instead of this little thing, uh, but if I wasn't home, I could easily enjoy it on this as well. That was a really long outro. I can't even speak anymore. Obviously, I'm football deprived from this big day. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, enjoy the video.